Hi, I'm so glad you can join me again for another episode of When We Were Young. This is your sunshine friend, and today, well, my guest is someone very, very important and very, very famous too. So all you have to do is stay on with me. Hello, I'm Jerry Fernandez, the band leader, the lead vocalist of my personal band, Jerry and the New Faces. You will be hearing more about us along the way. Jerry Fernandez has had a colourful life. In his teenage years, he was a footballer and he has been a DJ, presenter, as well as a published author. But most of all, he is known as the frontman of Jerry and the New Faces, a band that has gone through many lineup changes but has remained for 50 years. They not only rock the music scene locally, but also beyond our shores. In the beginning, Jerry started the new faces with new ending with a W in 1972. The original lineup included Henry Thumb, Osman Syed, Ricky Gunn, known also as Asing, Elmi Tahir, and Francis Ho. The band's first professional contract was at the Pink Pussycat Club in Princess Hotel Ghani in November 1972. Other club engagements followed as well. In 1975, the band had an amazing experience when they were called to Karachi, Pakistan for six months to perform at the Metropole Hotel. Their popularity kept on rising and peaked in the early 80s when the band saw great success with tours in Asia and Europe, sharing the same stage with big acts such as Mary Wilson and the Supremes, Jerry and the Pacemakers and the Platters. After seven and a half years, the original New Faces decided to pursue their own individual paths. But Jerry kept the dream alive and found new musical partners to perform with. He decided to alter the name of the band slightly, ending new with a U this time. The New Faces recorded their one and only album in Malay titled Muka Baru, which translates as New Face. Through the decades, the New Faces stayed busy with private gigs, anniversary concerts, regional performances, charity events, and TV and radio appearances. In July 2009, Jerry's book, To Be a Rock But Not to Roll, was launched at the Quality Hotel in Ballastia. The book charts the journey of the band across 14 countries and two continents, in his words. On 13th March 2022, Jerry and the New Faces performed at the Esplanade Concert Hall to mark their 50th year in showbiz. Before that show, the band also recorded two new original songs. One of them, Lights Went Out, told the story of Jerry's fascinating life. Jerry Fernandez has stayed in music, serving as a producer with Pekyo Community Club on the show, Pekyo Keeps Rocking. He truly embodies how to be a rock, but not to roll. And today, we have him on our show. And now you've seen him, the one and only awesome, incomparable Jerry Fernandez of the New Faces. Hi, Jerry. Hi, Belinda. Thank you for having me here. Oh, you're right. Hey, eyes <laughs> on the ball. <laughs> I was okay. I can still grip it. Yeah. It wasn't a goal anyway. Cool. Mm. You know, you know, to every player, whether you're a goalie or a player or even a fan like me, yeah. this thing is so important. That determines the 90-minute yeah. game. Ooh. This, between the two teams, 11 on each side, uh -huh. except the referee. Uh -huh. mm, so well, I imagine. love you, Ball. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> All right, now, we're going to continue with... The remaining segment of this very special program. So keep your eyes on the ball and on me and Jerry.
Thank you. You know, Jerry, I think you still have your soccer skills in spite of all these years. But tell me, what exactly, you know, I mean, why did you get into music? Oh, well, getting into music was another part of my life. Actually, music and soccer was running parallel, mm. right? I started playing soccer in primary school. And then when I went to SGI, I was from SGI Junior to SGI Secondary St. Joseph's. I started to play soccer for the school team and went on to play. And while we were in secondary two, secondary three, I had my home team. Mm. You know, the home team that was called Burnley United. We were all good friends, very good friends. And we started barefooted. <laughs> uh, we had no... Yeah. No boots, yeah. No boots. We can't afford. We are still going to school. Okay. So what we had was ankle guard or knee guard. That's about all. And by and large, uh, over time, we saved some money. What money? Recess money. We were playing all barefooted games in Farrah Park Stadium. I mean, there were a few pitches there, about five pitches, if I'm mistaken. So we wanted the... Uh, attractive team called Burnley United. Uh, yeah, we were so good. I must, I must say, we are, I'm so proud and so good that we had so many of them there. Mm -hmm. I mean, to talk about, to mention, late Dola Kasim, oh. late Lim Chiu Peng, Jaffa Yaakob, and uh, the whole team. And I was the goalkeeper. There was another goalkeeper called William Cole. And our manager was Morris Pasquale. Mm. And our well known, I knew. Yeah, yeah he was. Course, yes. And so our immediate coach was Mr. Kejapati. Then one day we, Uncle Chu was there, late Uncle Chu. Mm. We all remember him. Yeah, Uncle of course. Chu. Yes, Uncle Chu. No, coach. nobody could forget him, yes. and he's such a great mentor. Uh -huh. He came on and uh, tried to advise us and to play well. He's always watching us and giving us advices, you know, along the way. And then uh, I was already started to sing mm -hmm. in the church at the Redemptorist Monastery, or better known as the Novena Church. There I was, I was an altar server. I was given a chance to sing in the choir. And I started to develop a little bit from there. And while in secondary three in, in St. Joseph Institution, we formed a band that was called the Idols. Idols. Mm -hmm. The Idols went on and we won the competition, the sole competition at the National Theatre. We were the outright winners. And uh, we kept it that way, playing some functions here and there. But at that time, I also had my... Kampong band. <laughs> Kampong band. Boy. Kampong band. Yeah. And uh, uh, that was called the Paddlers, called Jerry, Jay and the Paddlers, actually. Mm -hmm. We played for the fun of it, mm -hmm. just jamming around and doing. But idols and Paddlers, we were all juggling together. I see. I mean, we're not working, we're not regular musicians, I'd say. Mm -hmm. We're just enjoying every bit of our life, you know, just enjoying the fun. Same time Great. playing soccer. Mm, mm -hmm. at but the what same kind time. of music were you guys playing at that time? Uh, though, those days our music was actually Rolling Stones, The Animals. Okay. Uh, all, okay. all the sort of stuff that we were doing were all the British influence. Yes. It's all most the British influence. And we, mm -hmm. we also had the privilege of playing with the uh, British camps. Okay. So all this thing was done and then eventually I thought... Uh, new phases was coming in my way already. Ah. New, new phases. So, idols, peddlers, came new phases. Uh -huh. Before becoming new phases, I was put into a Chinese band in 1969. Mm -hmm. The name of the band was called Milky Way Electric Guitar Band. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it was a nice, yeah. nice bunch of okay. boys. You know, there was, there was a few of them. There's Frankie, Thomas, mm -hmm. 
mm -hmm. uh, Ricky and Mickey. I still meet them. I still meet Mickey and and uh, Ricky. Ricky's better known as us. Mm -hmm. I joined them for a very brief period because still doing my O level and all this. Finally, I had to leave the band. I left all the bands, even Idols, because Idols we have went separate ways because three of the boys migrated to Australia. So you cannot continue. We can't, I'm sure. and we can't. That's not true. Here, Victor went to pursue his uh, career. Okay. And then national service became a major. Mm. I and Albert, we did our national service as police officers. Okay. okay. <laughs> and it was fun anyway. Uh, we just have to do it. It's compulsory, the national service. So at the time, I was just pondering a lot, what shall I do? Just then, I had this gentleman, late Michael Tan. I knew him because we used his studio okay. for rehearsals. He told me, Jerry, if you're keen, you know, we can form a band and all this. So I said, Michael, I don't know much about the musicians out there, you know. I don't know much. So slowly but surely, the very first person that I got involved in my band was Ricky Gunn. Mm -hmm. Gunn Guan Singh. We always call him Sergeant Gunn. Sergeant Gunn, yeah. <laughs> yep. So we got him in. And eventually from there, Michael brought us Francis Ho. Elmi Tahir and uh, Elmi Tahir and what? Osman Syed, we call him Manny, Henry Tom, and the band was functioning, was functioning, and but functioning only, and not not nothing not else, really, yeah. not really yet. So mm -hmm. we're getting together, gelling ourselves because we okay. get to know one another. Here I only know a saying or Ricky Gunn, so the rest of you know, begin to okay. understand because so it's So actually, you know, when did the full formation come about? Uh, 1971. That's 1971, right. the formation was cemented. And that's it. That's when the name New Faces came, came about. Came about. Okay. New Faces came about. And, mm -hmm. and uh, by that time, you're not playing any more soccer, am I? No more, no more. Yeah, Just watching, course. you know. Okay. Was, Always taken away by soccer okay. anyway. So you're actually so concentrating on music Concentrating now. on music. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's the way it was. And that's the way it is up to today. The music became a livelihood. Good. So from I then see. on, that's it. There was New Faces and New Faces went on. Good. The original members mm -hmm. was with me and we started professionally at the Pink Pussycat. Yeah. I remember, yes. Pink Pussycat. No, this True. was a very, very hot mm. place. Mm -hmm. And it was in the vicinity of the Princess Ghani ah. Hotel. Uh -huh. Princess cool. Hotel Ghani or something like yeah, that. Yeah, Princess Ghani Hotel. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Actually, Jerry, I mean, this musical journey of yours, I'm sure there's a lot of ups and downs, right? Surely you would like to share with us some of the challenges you face, yeah. like when you go overseas even. I remember mm. you all went to Finland, you know, with the band. Yes, And yes. you made a big name for yourselves, yes, yes, all of yes. you. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we had a lot of challenges. Mm -hmm. The very first one was in Bangkok. Then the first time when New Faces traveled out of Singapore was Kuala Lumpur at the Mayflower Night Club mm. that was then the place to be. We were there, we came back, and uh, you know, there was a time, Belinda, you may have known or realized the closure of the discos in 1973. Yeah. Right? right. Yes. So that's when uh, we were, hey, where are we going to play now? Only restaurants are given the license to have live men with a bit of bright lights like what we're having now. Mm -hmm. So we went on this. And then Michael Tan, the company called Ten Story, that was there. I was with them very strongly at the time. We had an opportunity to go to Bangkok. Mm, okay. In Bangkok, we also ran into some difficulties. And then we were back home again. Okay. You know? All right. Back home again. Stranded again. I mean, I wouldn't say stranded. We were just back home. And while waiting, mm -hmm. while waiting... Uh, you had a big offer. We had an offer to go to Pakistan. Okay. Wow. Karachi. Karachi. I remember. Yeah. Yes. We never knew where we were going to go, but we went there the very first time. Is Wow, this is Pakistan. This is Karachi. 
eventually we enjoyed our what stint you did. there. Yeah, six mm -hmm. and a half months. Mm -hmm. But what about the European part of it? Oh, the European part of it, we started the, the tour in 1984. Oh, later. Oh, in, in October. Mm. Okay. And that was in the thick of the winter. Oh, my gosh. We have never faced that sort of thing, you know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we went there. Oh, my God, it's so cold. It's, it's freezing cold. Our very first stop was in Finland. Finland, though we started in Finland and we were en routing to Turku. Uh -huh. That was the original capital city that was stole. Mm -hmm. There we started our very first stint for a month uh, in a hotel called Hamburger Burst. <laughs> Hamburger? <laughs> and I was looking at it. I still got the photograph. I'm looking at it. Hamburger Burst. So it was like, okay, you know, we just went on to play there and then we were not so used to that the weather. But what was the response like from a uh, European crowd or audience? Okay. The very first few gigs we had, we did not go down that well because the kind of music we brought over there wasn't clicking. Mm -hmm. It took us a little while. Oh, okay. And got it adjusted okay. and started to learn the European hits. I see. I see. Now, you see, looking back again, you know, I mean, you have been so active, you know, for the last 50 years. Now, how do you manage to overcome all these odds? Because many bands would have just, oh, call it quits, but you're still going on. What is the X factor that you have? Uh, it's my passion and my love for music. I, I went all against my parents' advice. And of course, uh, Today, when I think about it, what mom and dad told me that music will never, never sustain me, you know. Mm -hmm. But uh, yes, I remember them. They were loving, beautiful parents I had, and they did, they did, supported me. Mm -hmm. Each I time see. I fall, they were there. They pick it up, yeah. They pick you up. And later yeah. on in life, every time I fall, my sisters and brothers would rally around me. Because mm. mom and dad made it clear to them, hey, he's the eldest brother. He's the only one doing rock and roll in his life, you know, mm. so don't let him fall. I see. So, I see. you know, as musicians, we will have a lot of pitfalls. Cool. Today you'll be doing well. Tomorrow you it be something different. Something different. Mm -hmm. But you have done very well, I would say, you know, yes, I mean, yes, Jerry. I, and even wrote your book. You published your book in the year yeah, 2009. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To be a rock? Yeah, yeah, to be a rock, but not to, to rock. roll. Yeah, uh, but why, why a title like that? Is it because a rock uh, is more steady? Yeah, because I'm a rock. Okay. Nothing shakes me from what... Okay. In spite of all the, the, all the ups and the downs, yep. I still stood steady. You're very my frame is there, I'm <laughs> fame, and I'm going okay. through this, you know? Okay. And okay. Uh, yeah. that's why the title was To Be a Rock But Not To not Roll. Not To Roll. To mm. Be a Rock. That means I know I'm destined for this, come what may. Cool. You know? I will not give in to anything. But uh, on the other hand, that was decided on my 25th wedding anniversary. Wow. <laughs> I know, I know you're a proud grandfather. That too. was the time yeah. when I told cool. my wife, Mary Ann, I said, look, I think I wanted to leave a legacy behind. Mm -hmm. I wanted to leave something for the people that have supported me and my mm -hmm. family members. So that's, that's all. why the book is it? Ah, that's all. That, all mm -hmm. that was all that I had in my mind. Cool. Okay, finally, what I would like to find out from you is like looking forward, you know, how are you looking forward to this passion of yours in music right now? Okay. Would you still go on rocking and rolling or? Uh, I always said to myself and to my, f to my wife mm -hmm. and to my children, I love the family. I love music and the stage is my home. That will be. I'm a bit emotional on that. <laughs> Not because, sure. I know you've because, been doing very well. I would say fifty years. You know, music in the is, business. Music is really sacred to me. Yep. I never misuse. Oh, mm -hmm. Music is everything to me, the world to me. 
I may not be awesome. the greatest performer or I may not have the greatest band, mm. but I'm thankful to everybody who made me for what I am. Yes. Don't you think I he's thank great? thank God for this. Yes. Yep. Uh, yeah, so many of them has come by. I know. Uh, well, I appreciate everyone. I think we all should appreciate our musicians, you know, especially those, you know, I mean, people with raw talent and who really, you know, are make Singapore proud. You're you know? right. I know. Are you prepared with something for us in our studio today? Are you going to sing something out of your I, own compositions? Or yes, yes. I love to got? sing. Actually, today I brought along just a song that I wrote and composed. In fact, that was released on the 13th of March this year that coincided okay. with my 50th anniversary. Mm -hmm. uh, the song is about to be lights went out. When the lights went out, actually. Okay, then, Jerry, take it away. Sure. Let's hear it from I'm him. I'm all ready to do my original, like I said, was written and composed by me. And I thank my members of the band for helping me out because cool. they really rehearse a lot. <laughs> okay, let's hear it. All right, this is my original song written and composed by me, played by my boys in the band. Amir, Uni, Amri, Selim. Oh. The lights went out. At 16, I was feeling good. I was young and bold. I was just rocking around with the good old rock and roll. Never knew what what life about. Loved the stage and sound. I was just rocking around. Never knew what's coming around. Lights went out. The time went by. I looked around. No one's around. Lights went out. The time went by. I looked around, no one's around. Wow! Play it. Hey, hit it. Here we go. At 16, I was feeling good, I was young and bold. I was just rocking around with a good old rock and roll. Never knew what what life about, loved the stage and sound. I was just rocking around, never knew what's coming around. Lights went out, the time went by. I looked around, no one's around. The lights went out, the time went by. Looked around, no one's around. The lights went out, the time went by. I looked around, no one's around. The lights went out, the lights went out, the lights went out, the lights went out. Hey, the lights are still on, <laughs> Jerry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can hey, see Jerry, that. Hey, Jerry, all these beautiful numbers that you composed, you know, your legacy, are you going to pass them over to your children yeah, yeah. and your grandchildren? Definitely to my children. My both boys have got it, Robin and Jeremy. Not their wives anyway. But uh, my grandchildren, yes, they're on it. Mm. Raiden is on piano and Raina is on drums. Cool. So... Let That's it where the it will God. continue. Yes, the legacy continues with it Jerry will. Fernandez. Well, I hope you enjoyed our program today because we enjoyed doing it for you. And if you really, really enjoyed it, subscribe to our channel and give your comments. So until we come back with When We Were Young, this is my very good friend... Jerry Fernandez. 
<laughs> and I'm Belinda Sunshine saying goodbye for now till we meet again. God bless. I love you. We love you all. <laughs>